The psalmist in Psalms 28 verse 7 says, The Lord is my strength and my shield. My heart trusts in Him. He said, My heart trusts in Him. Dear child of God, God is reminding you today. He's saying to you, trust in me. He's saying to you, have faith in me. He's saying to you, believe in me. He's saying to you, have confidence in me. Because every time you have confidence in me, there is something I would do for you. The scripture went further to say that as your heart believes in God, as your heart trusts in him, he said you will not be put to shame. He said you will not be disappointed in Romans 10 verse 11. Dear child of God, you will not be put to shame. And as you trust in God, as you have faith in God, as found in Psalms 28 verse 7, he said you will receive help. He said, the Lord is my strength and my shield. My heart trusts in him and I received help. Dear child of God, help is on the way. That help you have been praying for is coming to you and to your family. And your heart will greatly rejoice in the mighty name of Jesus. God will give you a reason to give thanks. And you would have a new song in your mouth in the mighty name of Jesus. Dear child of God, trust in God because he will protect you. He will shield you from every plans of the enemies. He would make sure nothing the enemies are doing are successful in the mighty name of Jesus. God is working out greatness for you and for your family in the mighty name of Jesus. And nothing the enemy had planned against you would ever succeed in Jesus' name. He said that he would be your helper. He said he would assist you. He will be there to help you at every moment in time that you call unto him. So trust him. Trust the mighty God. Trust the one who cannot fail. Trust the one who cannot disappoint. Trust the one who cannot in any way turn his back. He said he will not forsake you. He said he will not leave you on your own. So go to him and say, if you have promised not to leave me all by myself, if you have promised to be there with me to the ends of the earth, I trust in you. I believe in you. And I want to receive your help. And dear child of God, I have this assurance that you will receive that help you seek from the Lord. That assistance you need from God, you will receive in the mighty name of Jesus. Psalms 119 verse 50 says, This is what comforts me in my troubles, that what you say revive me. Dear child of God, you will receive a word from the Lord that would revive you. This word will revive your life. It would revive everything around your family in the mighty name of Jesus. The things that were dying, God will revive each and every one of them. Yes, God is saying, acknowledge me, trust in me, put your faith in me, put your hopes in me. And he said it would direct your path. It will lead you to your place of blessings. It will lead you to your place of breakthroughs. It will lead you to your place of upliftment. Dear child of God, you would receive the help of God. That help that will turn every of your life situation around. That help that will give a meaning to your life. That help that will restore your joy. That help that will be there for all to see. You would receive that help. And men will be able to say that God has been good. They would be able to say that God visited and showed himself strong and mighty in your life. In the mighty name of Jesus Christ. Dear child of God, God is bringing you justice. This is what is saying to you, that everyone that have troubled you, everyone that did you evil, he said he will bring judgment on their path in the mighty name of Jesus. He will severely deal with the people that afflicted you. Dear child of God, this is how God will revive you and this is how God will restore your life and your joy and happiness. In the mighty name of Jesus. Today, you will see the God of heaven visiting your life and your family. In the mighty name of Jesus. You will see God turning everything around for good. In the mighty name of Jesus. He will defend your case and he will redeem you. Dear child of God, he had made a promise to you to fight for you. You will see God fighting for you. You will see God standing out for you. He said you should cheer up. Because in him you have victory. He had overcome the world for you. And this is the overcoming victories 
that will cause you to rejoice all the days of your life. You have might, you have strength, and you have the power of God all the way in Jesus' mighty name. So trust in that God who cannot fail. Trust in that God who cannot be defeated. Trust in that God who cannot lose a fight. And I have this good news for you, dear child of God. You will not lose in life in the mighty name of Jesus. You are more than a conqueror. You are more than a victor. You are more than an overcomer. And you will see the splendor of God. You will see the goodness of God in the mighty name of Jesus. He said it will be good to the ones that he has chosen to be good to. And now God is saying to you, it is your time to enjoy his goodness. It is your time to enjoy his favor. It is your time to enjoy his benevolence. And you will see God be good to you all the way. You will see God becoming so good to your family. And it would amaze you in the mighty name of Jesus. Because he wants to do something mind-blowing for you. And you are going to experience his gracious love. Psalms 119 verse 88 says, Revive me according to your gracious love. Dear child of God, you would experience the gracious love of God. And you will say to God, Thank you for being there for me. When everyone else left me, when the world left me to fight my battle all by myself, you came through for me. You stood with me and now I am victorious. I want you to know without a doubt, dear child of God, you will be victorious because God is coming through for you and God will make your life good. God will make your life beautiful in the mighty name of Jesus Christ. No one will be able to compare to what God will do for you. Yes, no one on the face of the earth will take the praises for what God will wants to do for you and for your family in the mighty name of Jesus. And all the disasters that you had experienced, yes, the numerous troubles that came towards you and towards your direction, God will make sure that he will deal with each and every one of them. And all that the enemies have been intending to come to you, yes, God would divert each and every one of them. And he would make sure that it returns back to the sender in the mighty name of Jesus. God will lift you up. Yes, he would make sure you rise up again. They wanted you to be buried in the depth of the earth, but God will make sure you are revived and redeemed in the mighty name of Jesus Christ. Dear child of God, the Lord of heaven, the God that you serve, will defend your cause. He would make sure your life will become very beautiful. He would make sure that you receive the glorious blessings meant for your life and for your family. In the mighty name of Jesus. So go to him today and say, God, please do me well. Go to him today and say, God, please settle me. You know all the things I've been praying for. You know all the things that I need in my life to be revived. You know all the things I need in my life to bounce back again. You know all the things I need in my life to have a flourishing business. Lord God, settle me. And make all things good for me. Make all things good for my family. You know everything that would make me be very comfortable. Lord, bring them my way. Bring them to my family. And give me that comfort that I've been praying for. And I want to assure you, dear child of God, you will see sweetness. You will see brightness. You will see graciousness all the way in the mighty name of Jesus. And the darkness God will take away in the mighty name of Jesus. The darkness the enemies were bringing to suppress you, to submerge you, God will take them away in the mighty name of Jesus. And you'll be rising. You'll be rising above all the things that have been done against you. You'll be rising above all the obscurities, everything that the enemies had planned to drown you with. You would rise above each and every one of them in the mighty name of Jesus Christ. Your seasons of celebrations have come. Your season for turnaround victories have come. Your season for a testimony has come and you will not be denied anymore what was meant for you in the mighty name of Jesus. All that are rightfully yours, you would receive in the mighty name of Jesus Christ. God is returning to revive you and to lift you up from the depth of the earth in the name of Jesus. As found in Psalm 71 verse 20 in Jesus' mighty name. God will bless you and God will do you well. You will see God's tremendous hand coming through for you. 
and doing abundantly for you in the mighty name of Jesus. Your joy will be full because it is your season, it is your time to testify. He will bless all of your inheritances in the mighty name of Jesus. He will shepherd you all the way and bring you to your place of rest and satisfaction in Jesus' mighty name. I say to you congratulations because it is done and it is settled in your life. In Jesus' name, amen. It is well with you, beloved. God bless you and shalom.